hi guys welcome to salesforce troop and in this video we'll talk about the second base component that has been introduced in summer 22 and that is lightning confirm earlier we were using a confirm method but again as i mentioned last time it's going to be removed for the developers by the uh, for the developers by the browsers different browsers the support gonna be deprecated so that's why salesforce come up with this alternative lightning confirm and we use this when we need to take user confirmation to proceed like when we say are you sure you want to delete this record yes or no right so there is an option for a user to select so wherever we have some confirmation based scenario it's okay to go with lightning confirmation okay so let's go to our ps code and start building this demo so in the previous video we already talked about the lightning alert okay so let's go, go to vs code again and let's create the component go to your command palette select create lightning web component and here i'll give the name lightning confirm demo the default path first thing will just expose this component to the page so i'll come to the meta file i'll say is exposed to targets is lightning app page i'll come to the html i'll create the lightning card and here in the lightning card i'll give the title and the title is demo of or we can say lightning confirm demo demo and inside this basically we need a button let's say lightning button let's say label of that button is for now confirm demo and We'll keep this button as it is for now and let's deploy this component and place this component to the lightning page so that's how we should always approach first make sure your component has been deployed and it's on the right position where you're gonna use it so i'll go to my page go to edit page from the gear icon and then look for the component lightning confirm demo and i'll place this to the second column and i'll hit save hit save i'll go back and here now you can see the button is there and we have a card available so now let's go and import the lightning confirm so we'll say import lightning confirm and here l and c uh, l and c both are capital and we're gonna import it from lightning that is small l and small c here i think confirm module and then what we're gonna do is we'll create a method confirm handler and in this method we'll learn first the syntax like in previous one we were calling this what you call object and from that object lightning alert object we were calling the open method similarly for confirm as well we call this object lightning confirm and confirm has a method called open and open will take first basic parameter or basic property that is called message and here we'll say would you like to refresh the page that's the message and let's keep press empty and let's map this method or call this method from our button so we'll say on click and we'll bind this method and we'll give one class as well just so that our button not touch the boundary of our card so i'll say s lds variable around variable medium around small so i'm giving a medium margin uh, basically not medium margin the mar small size margin around the button and let's deploy this 
So on click of this button, it will call this method and this lightning confirm will call the open method and pass this message and let's see what it shown on the screen. So let's refresh the page. Click confirm demo and now you can see the default label is coming as confirm in the alert case it was coming alert and the message that we have passed it's coming here and now the difference between alert and confirm is confirm give you a feature that where you can capture the result or the action that user has performed whether he has clicked on cancel or ok right so now in this demo i have said would you like to refresh the page either user will say cancel no he don't want okay yes he wants right so we can capture this action as well that we'll see in a minute okay so let's go here now let's explore the other properties that similar to what we have explored in alert as well so the next property is label so if you want a custom label to be there i'll pass this are you it's an object so we'll pass in key label form and we'll say are you here and then the message will come would you like to like to refresh the page label is there and by default theme was empty background with some stripe but there are some themes that you can set like success make sure you are in a comma here because it's an object an object always work in key value form so success and i'll mention here for your like what success color represent it's green warning orange then error these are the properties that you can use in the theme red then info gray okay so we are seeing i want a label as well i want the theme as well and you can pass a variant as well so we'll say variant and when you pass headerless it will hide your label so let's for time being i'll command this use i'll just put the comment use this for hiding the header okay so let's deploy this in which what we are doing here we are customizing our header uh, label of our confirm box and giving a theme that will make the header is of green color so let's deploy and let's hear the cache last time also we faced this issue So now you can see that the background is coming with the green color the message or the label is our customized label that we are passing are you sure would you like to refresh the page or not right and if i say a variant headerless let's see whether it's hide the header or not let's refresh the page after deploying let's clear the cache as well now you can see that the header is not coming right let's bring back the header so i'll just comment that for our reference now till here it's we all talk about how to open it and what's the how to change or play with the look and feel okay now the next scenario is this is a real time scenario okay if you ask somebody would you like to refresh the page if it's a okay then it should refresh the page if not then you can ignore it okay like just close the pop-up so again here because it's a user driven action so we don't know when the user will perform the action so we and this method always return a promise so wherever the promise comes basically it means a async async operation so again here also we can use either a sync await we'll just put a sync here and we'll say await and whatever it will return we'll say const result equal to so 
to use await your method always should be start with the async keyword and whatever it return will store that in a variable and here what we're going to say if result is there so this how it works is i'll, I'll tell you this method uh, like on click of on click of okay result will be boolean true true else false okay so if the user click on the okay button it means he has placed uh, um, if he click on okay we will get the result as true otherwise we'll get the result as false so that's why i'm saying if result how if works basically if something gets true so result coming true go inside and to location dot reload else don't do anything just close it by default both action ok or cancel will close the model but what we want is once he click on any of the action before closing do something right so if he click ok which means we'll get the true or you can do this as well but in javascript we have the shorthand notation like this and it will call the reload method of the browser so let's deploy this and see if on click of ok whether the browser basically the page get refreshed or not okay so let's refresh this page i'll click confirm demo and on click of cancel nothing happens on click of ok now you see it refresh the page and just to understand more better let's print the result as well okay and let's change oh head label as well confirm demo instead because demo we already have given above we'll say refresh page okay once the user click on the refresh page then we'll immediately ask his confirmation are you sure you want to like refresh the page if we say okay then we'll refresh it so that's another real time use case that many time will do that so i'll open the console and clear the console once i click on confirm and click cancel nothing happened because it's cached issue let's clear the cache and refresh it again and make sure it's deployed and we are printing it yeah so once i click refresh page and cancel you can see it returning false and similarly when i click on ok it will print true as soon as we'll receive the true it will go inside the if statement and call the location dot reload method so if i say ok you can see it print true immediately it refresh the page that's why it clear the cache but that's how the confirm works and here i already showed you like you can play around with the theme you can hide the variant instead of success you can pass warning error information so here let's pass the warning because we are giving him a warning like if you say okay it will refresh the page it can be any use case so that's a very basic use case that i showed you and this warning will bring the orange color now you see are you sure would you like to refresh the page okay yes refresh the page so that's all about our lightning confirm base component i hope you like this video i'll see you in the third base component video that is lightning prompt thank you have a good day